Well, I hadn't planned on making another driving video, but since I wanted to do the video explaining the color of the car, and I wanted to do it in a quiet area, I took it to our favorite abandoned office park. You guys have seen my videos and know it well. But driving this car is a completely different experience. It is massive. It's a coupe, but it is massive. And the car just goes down the road nice and easy. You know, it's not a sports car, that's for sure. But you can barely feather the accelerator pedal and it just keeps its time. I'm doing 35 miles an hour. My foot's just resting on the accelerator. It keeps speed nicely. And it really sort of just floats its way down the road. It's actually pretty neat to drive it. It's so massive that pulling it out of a parking space, and, and I'm not talking about a parallel parking space, I'm just talking about a parking space like at the office park, you know, is a real trip because it is so large. And here's my favorite traffic light that I never make. It's such an interesting experience. You know, I'm 59 years old, so I remember these well from my youth. Good old American power steering, so any kind of quick reaction isn't going to upset the car too much because you're going to have to make two revolutions, you know, to make a full turn. But you'll see we're going to make a right-hand turn up ahead here. just sort of silently glide down the road you can barely hear the engine running yeah all 190 horses but it does have quite a bit of torque you can see to make that right hand turn you know the steering wheel had to go over 180 degrees and that was on a 90 degree turn just such an awesome piece of American car history. You kind of slosh over those big bumps there. The car accelerates fine. It's, it's almost completely silent. You can just sort of hear the low rumble of the motor. I mean, it handled that little speed bump easily. It's just really a pleasure to drive. <laughs> 